Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Google Chrome extensions on the Chromium Edge web browser. So, this is actually a lot easier than you may initially think, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, first things first, you want to go ahead and open up your Microsoft Edge Canary or developer, whatever you want to call it. So, open it up here and just go ahead and type in whatever extension you're looking for so let's just say uh, Google Docs extension so we're going to go ahead with a Google in-house extension here just for simplicity and there should be an option here so if we scroll down we're going to go underneath Chrome Web Store extensions And you can see it says you can now add extensions from the Chrome Web Store to Microsoft Edge. So it's good to know here. And it was pretty straightforward. You can clearly see that we are on the Chrome Web Store here. So it actually tells us we can go to the Chrome Store. So if you didn't already figure that out, just for the purpose of this video, you know what? Let's just go do Grammarly for Chrome. This isn't an endorsement or anything of this application. It just happens to be the most recently updated in this list here. So might as well. So going to go ahead and select that. You can search the web store for whatever app you want. It doesn't really matter. So once you're on whatever app you want, you want to select the option that says allow extensions from other stores. Select the allow button. So you can see extensions installed from sources other than Microsoft Store are unverified. It may affect browser performance. For Microsoft verified extensions, visit the Microsoft Store. Again, go ahead and select allow here. And now the web page should relaunch or should refresh here. Give it a moment. And now there should be an option to add to Chrome. So go ahead and select that. It wasn't previously there as you could clearly see. So I'm going to add to Chrome even though this is clearly not Chrome, but we're going to go ahead and add the extension. And once that is done, you should be good to go. And then you can just modify the extensions permissions like you normally would in the Chrome web browser. So just by right-clicking on it, managing extensions, it's very similar to your Google Chrome experience here. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.